So where did this idea for the Kids Tonight Show come from? We grew up with shows where kids were hosts, you know, like Mickey Mouse Club or mm. even uh, Electric Company or Zoom or whatever you call it, the other Zoom. Uh, and uh, <laughs> the or 321 Contact. Yeah, it was like, but right now kids, I have two little girls and they don't really have a show where kids are hosts of things. Yeah. And so I go, we should do that. Then I'm like, oh wait, I am a host. We should have the Kids Tonight Show. So we have four amazing kids. They couldn't be cuter. And uh, they're little 15 minute uh, segments of the show. Uh, so it's good bite size, perfect for parents who go like, okay, one show and then you're going to bed, let's go. Amen, uh, and, I know that drill. You know, yeah. so uh, we just uh, figured we'd start it up and it's on Peacock and uh, they interview celebrities, they interview other kids. Uh, there's music, it's messy, it's fun, it's uh, it's just 15 minutes of joy and pure fun family entertainment. And I love I, that. Yeah, we lucked out. It was a great, 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 great show, it's top such to bottom. A brilliant idea. Um, Lucky. Well, so the the book you wrote, which my kids love, by the way, um, it's a, your Christmas one, and oh. it's a special now. I, yeah. We, my my daughter came home from school once, and she, uh, she was going to her grandmother's house for the weekend. She was like, "How many how many more sleeps till?" Uh, uh, she doesn't have a list. But I just I added was that. Like, Wait, no, what's no, happening? no, no, no. She, yeah, she, she's cute. She has a little list. She's like, "How many more sleeps till uh, grandma's house?" I, "How many more sleeps?" I never heard that. Oh my like, god, my kids say that all the time. So I'm like, "That's why they love your book." Five more. So I wrote yeah. the book, Five More Sleeps Till Christmas." Yeah. About a kid excited about Christmas, and then. Uh, uh, it, it became now a animated show, so it's a cartoon, That's like so Charlie cool. Brown or whatever. Yeah. It's crazy. It airs the day after Thanksgiving. That's so, so the cool. 26th, it airs on NBC, and we made it, and it's like kind of claymation, stop motion, but also like painted. The animation's different than anything you've seen. It's about a boy and his dog and his mom, and they get a stranger is now involved with their Christmas, and hopefully it doesn't mess up any of his plans. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's cute. Not stranger danger, because that's no. my kind of way. Okay. Oh, no, good. It's, uh, <laughs> like, you know, it's, it's I'm a just good, kidding. It's a good no, my kids love No, my kids love your book. They love reading. We read every night. So it's awesome, because there's not that many, like, Christmas stories like that to be able to read to them. So it's really I love cool. your book, too. Oh, well, thank you. you been not, yeah. Well, thank you. Um, well, we're talking kids, um, and it's Throwback Thursday. So how about let's look at you as a kid, because I thought that'd be fun. So see. here's this photo. <laughs> oh God! Oh my God! Look at that acid watch, Gene. I don't even know and if those, that's acid and watch. And it's like Reeboks. I don't I know. Think, it's awesome. It's yeah, like, something. Like, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, something was on the discount rack. I don't you know were, if all the whole outfit, but all, were all the ladies on you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just curious. Yeah. Were you just like telling you know them what happened? Go away? I, also, <laughs> hey, Jimmy, we found the perfect background. What well, this weird corner somewhere? Uh, yeah. uh, I With was. All uh, you the know, wood. it was. It was. Uh, it was uh, yeah, please take that photo off. No. Uh, I was. Uh, <laughs> It was in high school, and uh, I couldn't make the football team or the baseball team. I just wasn't that athletic. And, uh, I, but I wanted to play for a team, and I remember uh, someone came on the announcement, the loudspeaker, and they're like, uh, the, if anyone wants to play golf, anyone, <laughs> we would love you for the golf we team, or else we have to forfeit the team. We won't have a team. So that's how you made so a like, team? That's... <laughs> <laughs> that's how I, so that's how I, if I didn't make the team, I didn't there was no team. We literally, so I literally made the team. <laughs> that's right. Hey. <laughs> You got, there. you got there. That's how I got in. There would be no team. There's so I went. No audition. And I didn't even know how to go. And I remember as a kid, and uh, we, we used to grow tomatoes in our backyard. And uh, there were all these, you know, sticks in the in the in the in the garden to keep the tomatoes from falling over. And I, one of them had like a thing on the end of it. And I said to my grandfather, like, what is this? And he goes, it's a golf club. You don't know what a golf is. And, <laughs> and yet you made the golf team. <laughs> That's amazing. That's amazing. <laughs> See, it's like totally yeah. I love I'm not it. good, never, never became good, it. but I still play it. And my grandpa was like, it's a good investment. That's a good sport to get into because you can play it for the rest of your life. Uh, well, I told you I'm into like top golf. That's the kind of golf I'm into. Yes. You've never been, no, and I, you're going to go with me. I would totally okay, do it with you. Okay, it'd be fun. I would love to it's do it. I've not done it yet. Yeah, it's really, really fun. Anyway, I, yeah. you drink, you eat, you, you're merry. Um, do you remember your very first comedy gig, and were you terrified? I mean, yeah, I used to do jokes around the house with my family. You know, they would uh, give me like 50 cents or a dollar and just be like, really? go do Rodney Dangerfield or something. And I'd be like, oh, I'll tell you, right? I'm okay. <laughs> I go, my wife's cooking so bad. I mean, uh, <laughs> since when does toast have bones? Yeah, all right. <laughs> uh, and so I'd do that. But I, my first big gig, my mom heard about uh, an impression contest on the radio. And uh, she, she said, uh, Jimmy, I know you do all these voices in your, in your bedroom. I can hear, hear you. <laughs> You're. So how, how, thin are these, how, how thin are these walls? Yeah. What else are you hear in there, Mom? Uh, anyway, so, so I go, she goes, but why don't you uh, enter this contest? It's uh, who can do uh, the best impression in the Hudson Valley. And I went to this club called Bananas in Poughkeepsie. 
And I was uh, 17, I think, I want to say. I was a senior in high school. And I went and I did all these voices for a uh, spokesman for a troll doll someone gave me for graduating. I don't know what to do with this doll, so I just made an act out of it. So I'd be like, uh, uh, who wants to be a spokesman for the troll doll? Uh, first up, uh, I would do like... Uh, uh, Adam Sandler, and I'd be like, and I go, or John Travolta, I'm like, who does his hair? Like, this thing's like so crazy, like, what kind of troll doll is this thing with the crazy hair, right? And next up, Seinfeld, and you're like, who, what, who plays with these dolls? The arms and legs, don't move! This isn't a doll, you know? And uh, I, ended up, I ended up winning. I got, uh, I won first place, I won $1,000. Oh my God! It was amazing. A thousand? Seventeen is like the lottery. And then I got I got gigs, and my dad would drive me to the gigs. I would host uh, That's so weekend cool they were shows. Supportive. They were, you know. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> well, I mean, they were, but I mean, it's like they were like they, were, they they would go, Jimmy, this is great. Uh, uh, I think uh, you know you should go to college and uh, think about something else. You know, just have a backup. They made me take the postal exam. Okay. And I could have worked for the U.S. Postal Service. Easy. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so you had a backup plan. I had yeah, like three for what backup you, plans. Yeah, three back back. yeah, and uh, so I ended up uh, being, <laughs> luckily, uh, being a comedian. Uh, I, I moved out to L.A. to do acting classes, which you can tell I'm good of an actor. Have you seen my movie? Yeah. Uh, okay, uh, you no are. one has. Uh, uh, no. I find that comedians are the... Y'all can go deeper than anyone else to me. And, and even think of your favorite actors. Like, even, one of mine is Meryl, okay? Yeah. So funny. Her comedic timing is genius. She's so funny. Like, you have to be witty. You have to be, have a certain level of intelligence to be that kind of witty and that kind of great actor, I think. Well, <laughs> <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> I, appreciate, I appreciate it. <laughs> and I appreciate it. I promised myself I wouldn't do this. <laughs> I appreciate everything that you've ever done for me. <laughs> I love you, Kelly. So maybe you should have been a postal. Okay. Yeah.